All right, so here we have the CM690 uh, Cooler Master case. I've had it for about a year. Um, I've used it for a previous build. Uh, as you can see, I'm missing one of the front bezel parts. <laughs> uh, modded it with a fan controller. It's just a rheostat. Um, just works off the 12 volt. Uh, got a couple of fan shrouds here. You can see that. Um, I've made it so that it smooths the air out a little bit and gets closer to the uh, processor fan. Get a little more cool air into it. Uh, this is my most recent build here. Uh, it's an MSI 8600 GT um, factory overclock. Pretty good card. I like it. Uh, runs most of the modern games pretty smoothly. Uh, two gigabytes of uh, G skill memory. Um, came with eight spreaders. Pretty nice buy. Decent memory. Uh, MSI PSU. Uh, nothing special. Um, the CPU is a dual core Intel, but it's not a core 2, it's a Pentium 2, uh, 2 core. Um, didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on the CPU because this MSI board that I have can be upgraded to a 2 core extreme, uh, which I'm planning on doing. Uh, haven't got the money up for it yet. things back together here. Uh, it's overclocked just a smidge and it's not much because it's still the factory CPU cooler. Um, I want to go with some liquid cooling on this but like I said tight on money right now. The case is pretty nice, it's all toolless design, holds everything pretty nicely. Drive bays are all toolless. There's the uh, clips for the hard drives, those are pretty nice. Let me flip it around here for you. Get a look at the other side here. Make sure everything's hooked up still. Pulling on some of these cords here. Looks like it's good. Motherboard power here. Back together. Pretty tight down in here. Uh, MSI is uh, usually pretty good about not hiding any of their connections or anything. That one's kind of tight, but that's because of the placement of the PSU here. Uh, this CM690 is kind of strange with the power supply down on the bottom, but it works. All right, uh, there it is. Um, next, I'll show you. Uh, it's all hooked up and um, show you how much it's overclocked on stock cooling. Alright, so here we are at the CMOS setup screen, and 
uh, same as all uh, CMOS screens. Uh, cell menu is a different one for MSI. Um, you may not have that on yours. Uh, my current CPU frequency is uh, 2.765 gigahertz. Uh, front side bus is a thousand megahertz, and my RAM setting is 900 megahertz. Um, the CPU ratio is 11. Um, everything else is pretty much normal. I got a slight uh, CPU over voltage uh, just to stabilize it a little bit. Um, and it normally idles around oh, 46, 47 degrees Celsius. Uh, take you out of that screen um, well in the CMOS it's a little bit lower but uh, normally in Windows it idles at around 47, 48, 49 degrees Celsius uh, and I'll take you into Windows now Focus is kind of fuzzy there. There it goes. And Windows XP used to load a whole lot faster before the SP3. Better, a uh, little technical difficulty there. The mouse cord wasn't plugged in. Helps a lot if it is. As you can see, I play a lot of games. Uh, some older games. I got Oblivion on there. Uh, Far Cry, Star Wars Galaxies. Repels, Need for Speed, Grid, um, Spore Creature Creator, um, waiting for that one to come out in September. Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, I just started playing that this morning. Uh, got a little lonely. Uh, so here I have um, CPU Z and core temperature, which automatically starts so that I can take a look at things before I start using the computer. Uh, there's the overclock. 2.75 gigahertz. I'd say that's not bad for uh, stock cooling. Um, uh, there's your uh, dual core Pentium, uh, if you guys didn't believe me. Uh, I know that's a rare one. Um, E2200 is what the name of it is. Well, I guess it isn't that rare. Um, I've seen some other builds with that uh, processor. Um, not a bad little chip. I'm happy with it. Um, there's my temperatures. I'll run a little hot today because the room temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. It's usually not that high. Got a little bit of a heat wave going on here in Ohio. Okay, so that's all that. Um, like I said again, this is my first overclock. Uh, so if you guys, if anybody has any suggestions, comments, um, feel free to send them in.